Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to learn about different types of skin lesions. So first for the definition, a skin lesion is a part of the skin that has an abnormal growth or appearance compared to the skin around it. The skin lesion helps us to find out the local skin condition or infection and also to find out any systemic diseases of the body which have caused the skin lesion. So identifying the type of lesion is a very very important. Let's go into the topic proper. So there are two types of skin lesions. They are primary skin lesions and secondary skin lesions. Primary lesions means those which are pathognomic which means they characterize a disease and those which are not modified by treatment or by patients rubbing, scratching, etc. Secondary lesions. These are just opposite to the primary lesions. They are not pathognomic to any disease means they do not characterize any disease and they are the ones which are modified by treatment or patients as a result of rubbing, scratching, etc. First, let us discuss about the primary lesions, the types, and then later we will go on to the secondary lesions. So, primary lesions, first one we will discuss about macu. So, these are flat, less than 5 mm in diameter. Only change of color is seen. No elevation or no depression of skin is seen. They may be of two types, hyperpigmented or hypopigmented. So, example one, hyperpigmented as in melasma. It is a tan or dark skin discoloration. Malasma is thought to be caused by sun exposure, genetic predisposition, hormone changes and skin irritation. Malasma is particularly common in women, especially pregnant women and those who are taking oral or patch contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy. Example 2 which is hypopigmented type of macule which is seen in vitiligo. So, so as you can see in these both pictures the macules are flat there is no elevation or no depression in both the pictures only color change is seen the color change is also less than 5 mm in diameter coming to next primary lesion that is patch so patch is nothing but macule which is greater than one centimeter in diameter so it has all the qualities of macule except the size being larger than the macule so let's see the characteristic of patch so it's greater than one centimeter in diameter only alteration of skin color is seen no alteration of skin surface no elevation or no depression of skin is seen macule larger than one centimeter is called as patch it can be hypopigmented or hyperpigmented moving to next primary lesion papule it's elevated circumscribed less than one centimeter and the most important characteristic is it has no depth no depth is c so as you can see in this picture it's elevated circumscribed less than one centimeter and you can see no depth in it depth. next comes nodule it is solid firm raised and also has a depth in papule we see that it is only raised and it has no depth but in nodule it has depth that is the differentiating factor 
okay it can be epidermal like warts or subcutaneous like in erythema nodosa so you can see here epidermal nodule and you can see here the subcutaneous nodule in erythema nodosa we can say whether the lesion has a depth or not only by feeling the lesion next one is plaque it is raised circumscribed less than one centimeters and it shows the alteration in skin structure so plaques are commonly seen in psoriasis next is ovale it's evanescent which means quickly fading or disappearing usually wheels are like red or pinkish color and when we press it through finger it becomes pale or colorless so it is given the name evanescent or the characteristic evanescent edematous is the next characteristics erythematous papules of plaques which can be small or large or annular or geographical example atricaria and atricaria vasculitis next is vesicle clear fluid containing lesion less than 1 cm these are the primary lesions in pemphigus and chicken pox next bullae clear fluid containing lesions larger than 1 cm example these lesions can be seen in bullous pemphigoid and burns so vesicle has the same characteristics as bullae but vesicle is less than 1 cm and bullae is larger than 1 cm the next one is pustule as the name says it is pus filled lesion less than 1 cm burrow so these are thread like serpiginous lesions which means a creeping lesions these are the characteristic lesions of scabies these are localized to flexural areas like finger webs folds of the wrist and the axillae next comedones these we all are familiar with these are tiny dark colored follicular papules filled with keratin these are mostly seen in acne so in pictures as you can see here these all are filled with black colored keratin next is erythema pinkish or red discoloration of skin due to dilatation of dermal blood vessels which is completely blanchable which means to become white on dioscopy that is a pressure with a glass side the same type is seen in wheel also but a wheel is edematous whereas erythema is not edematous next is telangiectasia permanently dilated superficial dermal blood vessels seen in ataxia telangiectasia steroid induced skin diseases etc so in these pictures you can see that these are the dermal blood vessels as the superficial dermal blood vessels which are permanently dilated purpura it's purplish not blanchable that is it will not turn into white when pressure is given on them skin lesions are due to hemorrhage into skin resulting in color changes next primary skin lesion is scales so in scales there is shed of keratinocytes from the epidermis scales can be silvery as in psoriasis or can be as in pityriasis vesicola so these are the list of 15 primary lesions